the next ratio we are going to look at is receivable turnover ratio like inventory turnover ratio receivable turnover ratio is also related to asset so receivable turnover ratio has to be calculated as sales divided by average receivables outstanding as i said we have to use average while there is no compulsion to use average you can use year beginning receivable or year ending receivable also you have to be consistent sales is sales during the year so what does this ratio really imply is <clears throat> if this so let's look at it this way so let's say sales is 100 and your receivable is 25 another company sales is 100 and receivable is 50 so in this case the company made a sales of 100 rupees out of that 25 rupees on an average remains uncollected because it was a credit sales whereas in this case the company made 100 rupees of sales out of that 50 rupees remain uncollected the company is doing lot of credit sales eventually we all know the sales doesn't matter your cash collection matters what is the point if you sell it but you do not collect the cash so this cash not collected is eventually a money blocked in the system for business so if you are wanting to block lesser money then you want this number the receivable number to be as less as possible for a given sales so if this receivable number <coughs> is lower then your asset turnover ratio will be higher right so as I said in the previous series also for all assets the turnover ratio ideally should be higher for a company to be efficient right so 100 divided by 25 your ATR becomes higher so in this case the company has blocked lesser money whereas in this case the company has blocked higher money so let's go ahead and calculate the ratio we know the sales which is in the income statement which is here net revenues All right for both the years average receivables average of two years of receivables again you have to go to current asset section you have trade receivables here so calculate the average for both the years now calculate sales by average receivables which is 55,000 divided by 4,043 so if you see here again the way to interpret this number is last year the company has blocked lesser amount in uncollected sales sorry higher amount in uncollected sales last year the company has blocked higher amount in uncollected sales whereas this year it has decreased so while the sales has increased the uncollected amount has decreased hence the company is blocking lesser money in the system and that is why the ratio has gone up so now this company has become more efficient between last year and this year in terms of uncollected receivables and hence this is a good scenario because the company is blocking lesser money in terms of credit sales this is how you have to look at receivable turnover ratio